Hey guys, hope everything's going well. Uh, today I wanted to do a video on the new tax laws and sports cards. And also, you know, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and this will help the channel get more and more subscribers. And if you think this content's good and more people should listen, that's what you should definitely be doing. All right, so I wanted to get into this uh, tax law subject and how things are going to change next year. And um, by trade, I'm an accountant, but I'm not a CPA. I don't do the tax filings and whatnot. I did do like some internship over a decade ago, but you know, it, that was a long time ago. But anyways, you know, when you uh, sell over 200 items on PayPal or if you use eBay and they total twenty thousand dollars then you know paypal slash ebay they send you a 1099 unless if you live in certain states like illinois um you know ebay for our business account uh if you live in the state of illinois you know if you have a thousand dollars in sales and have at least six sales i believe they send it to you but like for most of the country that is actually uh more business friendly you know 200 sales and twenty thousand dollars next year it's going to be over six hundred dollars and why are they doing this um why is the irs doing this simply because all the businesses went bankrupt last year so the government needs to find a way to make more money and last year e-commerce sales went up so this is a way to try to extract the money and you know try to try to cut the deficit in the u.s government so that's what's going on uh, but, you know, I see some videos saying that, hey, this is going to, you know, potentially have all these ramifications for, you know, sellers next year. And they got to keep a good tab on their sales and whatnot. Well, for some of the small, small sellers, yes, it will be, you know, a little different. You'll have to pay taxes. And, you know, you should always be paying taxes, right? You know, I just got to say that to, you know, cover my end. Uh, you don't want to, you know, have tax uh, IRS problems. You know, IRS could go after anyone. And they're probably going to go after small and mid-sized businesses in the coming years. And w what's going on is all these small guys are going to have to report the taxes now. And some people say, hey, I don't know. It could potentially have negative effects. What will have negative effects on this in the sports card arena? Not these taxes, but actually if you look at the supply of cards coming from PSA and BGS in the next 12 to 18 months, there's over 5 million uh, card backlog, apparently a 5 million card backlog at PSA. And it must be substantial at BGS as well. I mean, you know, people have been complaining that they are they haven't been receiving their cards unless you do the fastest uh, option out there. So, you know, it's you're going to see supply hit the market and it's going to drive down prices. But you know what else is going to drive down prices? It's the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is going to be raising rates probably in the next 12 to 18 months. And, you know, the economy is going to slow down and, you know, you raise rates in a slowing economy, you know, it's going to create headwinds and it will ultimately lead to a recession when, long story short, the yield curve becomes negative or it becomes inverted. And that's a topic for another day. I just don't want to get too much into an economic discussion about that. So if you look at, you know, a lot of these guys, you know, panicking and freaking out, about this new uh, tax law issue, I I don't really see that much of a difference because if you're selling a bunch of cards as it is, you know, cards have gone up like crazy. So you should probably be receiving a 1099 if you are a regular s seller. You know, you have cards that went up from $100 to, you know, some went to, what, five, six, seven grand in two years. So if you decide to sell it, you know, you're probably closer to getting a 1099. Uh, but what this will do, in my opinion, is it's going to create more of a cash market. 
So, you know, PayPal, you know, they've cut down on friends and family because of the IRS restrictions. You know, they probably get audited. You have to, they have to deal with auditors, Sarbanes-Oxley, and those type of rules. And there's Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is going to cut down on it. Now, my uh, thinking is, okay, is offer up, you know, that uh, website. Are they going to crack down on this? Because apparently I've been reading on offer up. And they follow the IRS rules, 200 payments, and it has to be over $20,000. But that's for electronic payments, from my understanding. So people could go on OfferUp, they can meet in person, and they could do a cash-based transaction. And, you know, you know, could that be audited by OfferUp? Will they even go through that? Probably not, because the money is not going through their system. They just process whatever money is coming through them, and they issue the 1099 to the seller. So in my opinion, what's going to happen is a lot of transactions are going to be cash-based, and it's not going to kill the market. Some people may conclude in the next few years that it was because of the IRS tax rules and whatnot that created this problem. No, it's, it's not going to be it. Um, though I would like to – I would be intrigued on what these auction houses and consignment places, you know, like PWCC and Propstein, you know, on eBay – that I send my cards to, are they going to be issuing 1099s in the coming years? I mean, that would probably be a nightmare for those companies just to issue 1099s. They have millions of dollars of sales and just issuing all of that is just going to be a headache. And, you know, I, I don't know how that would go. And from my understanding, you know, some of these places still send money via friends and family. I don't know how they get away with it. Maybe they worked out a deal with PayPal saying like, hey, we need to send the money. You know, this isn't really, you know, for a sale of a good because, you know, we're, we owe them money, technicality. So I think they could get around it, but I'm not sure how they would, you know, get around this in my opinion. But anyways, guys, um, let me know what you think about these tax rules. Do you disagree with me on this topic? Do you believe that these tax rules will have a negative impact on this hobby in terms of um, prices? Once again, I don't think so. Anyways, hit the like button. And if you don't like the video, hit the dislike button. Comment below and tell me why you don't like it. Or if you do like the video, comment below as well. And that will help the algorithm spread my video around.